He's down, he's down. Squad lead, uh, enemies on us right next to you. Here, what? Up on the hill or down? I got two below me. Copy, copy. I mean, I must say the one thing about this, I like the sound of the M4. Okay, welcome everybody to this first impressions video on Squad V13 update. My job in this video is to play with Squad V13 a little bit, the, the brand new updates that's being tested, and report back to you what my findings are. So, I installed the program today, which took a fair amount of time, and got into Squad V13. This is the first edition of V13 that's available, first day and my initial impressions are I'm underwhelmed. Totally underwhelmed. Most of the changes that have been done to Squad V13 are rebalancing. Uh, there's a few new classes, which really are old classes recycled if you want to, and a few UI adjustments. So if you looked at the, the video that I was just um, highlighting there, it moves it moves left and right when you move your mouse over it the, the the maps are the same the you know what i mean now there might be changes that i don't see here too so we got to be careful but i'm talking about gameplay changes right um the legend for the vehicles there's a light jeep and a heavy jeep um there's a new scout car that has missiles on it i can't remember what it's called but it it's kind of cool right but it's it's these are small things it's a scout car it has a missile pack on it so um i'll obviously have to get into playing that the People are saying you run faster. I'm not sure you do. The tickets, they change how the tickets are. So you get 10 tickets for capturing a flag, you get 20 for losing one. And if you look at this, uh, if you lose a FOB, the FOB radio, it's minus 10 tickets. So losing a FOB radio is, is equal to gaining a flag. So radios became very important now compared to everything else, right? So they've rebalanced it some, trying to focus on different, different aspects of the game, making certain aspects stronger and certain aspects weaker. So that's kind of the, it's rebalancing really. It's just rebalancing and, and I'll cover more in detail about specific rebalancing. I'll show you how to shoot out tires, stuff like that. But it's really an underwhelming update. I'm gonna play it obviously because I don't have a choice, but it's underwhelming. So we'll see what we got. I just wanted to highlight another change I noticed was on the map icons here. Instead of being layered across the a map on the top in a horizontal aspect now you click on the gear and it gives you the same features the same switches on your map but they're tiled in a vertical mode that's um, when you click on the gear they show and you can change your options if you click the gear again they hide so it's a, a little bit more clean interface that hides the buttons but it's the same functionality so it's a UI adjustment so this is obviously squad leads right yeah squad lead um, I can't be squad lead, so when you're squad squad lead, um, you obviously get presented with different... Let's look real quick. I'm going to create a squad. Okay, so if you're a squad leader, you get presented with squad leader row. Okay, you get presented with a... Here's rifleman, just standard rifleman or the different types of rifleman, yep. And a, um, automatic rifleman. Here is the... Fire support rolls, Grenadier, Lat, Marksman, and the another AR, right? Automatic rifleman. And then here's another fire support roll with machine gunner, Lat, and a combat engineer. What the frick is a combat engineer? I see this. I see this under the squad leads tab. There's uh, some, some new stuff potentially. Lead crewman and crewman. Okay, why is that? That's weird. Um, and then there's this combat engineer, and you figure out what that is, right? So we'll leave the squad, and let's go here. Let's see if I can.
could be a combat in here. Join. Oh. Zero of two combat engineers. Okay, so I need to figure out what this new combat engineer role is, right? So team selection is which team you're going to be on. We've done that. Roll loadout. Oh, that's where you can actually go in here and look at the different roles, right? Combat engineer. So the... Oh, whoa, 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 M4, uh, 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 equipped with explosives and mines, the combat engineer can deny the enemy area control. It can also assist in vehicle repairs, instruct, construct deployables faster, and set up sandbags and wear it independently. So, okay, so he's given mines. He has mines and C4. Ah, he has C4 and mines, but he has a crap gun. <laughs> Look at his weapon. It's the, uh, the really terrible optic. It's just the red dot with no magnification, I think. The M4 rifle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that... Let's see what the medic gets now. Um, we're going to jump in. we got to jump in the game soon, but... Okay, the medic gets good optic now. See that? The medic class, he actually gets the magnified optic, which I, I picked a second ago. He has a, a ammo bag. Really nice. And, okay, so Medic is a good class now. I mean, it's a, it's a really, 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 in my opinion, good class. I want to play Medic then, maybe. I mean, I, yeah, let's play Medic. Let's, uh, yeah, I like, so he's got a good gun now, too. So the Medics get better guns. The Standard Rifleman, okay. Automatic Rifleman. There's the M240. No, N... 249 rifleman, gotcha, gotcha. Mm. Grenadier. 222 smokes, 10 regular grenades, so that's the same. Light anti tank, his, he's got a rifle upgrade. Marksman gets no special, and he looks like he's the same. Machine gunner, um, he got the awesome M240, right? He's the same. Okay, hat gets no upgraded gun. See, his, his rifle's the the, the standard uh, red dot sight. He has the hat. Doesn't see how many rounds he gets. His special's a hat. Like a after. Is this is this really? Did I pick? Did I change my class? I did change my class. I didn't know you could click here and change your class. That's interesting. Is the hat open? I, I need to look real quick. That is so weird. <clears throat> I'm going to keep hat for a second. I'm just going to go look. Because I would have expected... Actually, I wouldn't have expected... I wouldn't have expected anybody to pick hat because... Um, Because we're fighting the militia, and militia, you don't really need hat to fight. But normally, yep, yeah, hydroxic is hat. Okay, so I wonder what the limit is on hats now. Is it going to let me spawn with hat? It shows that it's red, but it let me click on it, right? And it shows me his hat. So let me let me just see if I can be hat, right? Spawn in real quick. Um, let's finish the look at the loadouts real quick. And then the combat engineer need more teammates. Okay, so it actually tells you need more teammates. Group role, max reached. It's letting me pick hat though. Just weird, right? <clears throat> I don't really want to be hat, but let's see if I can spawn his hat, right? So let's deploy. Infantry pushing in towards the compound on Bassett Crazy. They cap that. They're capping that. This team is garbage right now, but that's all right. I'm in my hat. Am I hat? Let's look real quick. So there is. Where's the other hat? The 
There's a hat right there. Crazy cow. Crazy cow's a hat. And I'm a hat, right? And I'm a hat. Do I have the hat kit? Let's make absolutely certain I do have the hat kit. I do. Oh, and you get a lat too? High explosive anti-tank. Can someone put ammo crates here? M136. Okay, so the hat gets a lat and a hat. That's very nice. Okay. So he gets upgraded too. Is there any new vehicle here? I see a... What is that? What is that? What is that right there? <clears throat> that looks to be a new type of uh, vehicle. The icon. Let's look at the icons real quick. Vehicles. Um, heavy Jeep it's called. See it? That right there is called a heavy Jeep. So it looks like there's a new type of uh, MRAP thing. We'll have to take a look at it. Called a heavy Jeep. That's pretty cool. Light Jeep and a heavy Jeep. It's, they were working on like a... You see how... You see how that marijuana plant pushes out of the way? See that? Right there. That was one of the new features I think they were talking about. Yeah, yeah. See it? Watch. Now I wonder if... An outside person can see that marijuana move. I bet he can. If I crawl, does it move? Let's look. Okay, but if I crawl, it's not moving. But I, I've seen videos where they show this. Um, okay, if I stand up and I walk. Okay, that's not pushing. Okay, it was just, it was just doing it. There, that one's moving. Look, look, that one moves. Okay, so there's this. They're bringing in this thing, or they're trying to bring in this thing where you can move the grass and the trees and bushes and stuff. What is that? What is that on the bottom? Okay, okay. Oh, that's that's my stamina. So if I run, my stamina is in the bottom middle now, and my ammo. I can see how many clips I have on the bottom right. So as I'm editing this video, I'm noticing things and you'll see here I'm inside the vehicle and I hit F and I can select rearm or I can change kits while I'm inside a vehicle that's kind of a nifty little change I mean it's a it's taking an external thing when you look at a vehicle bringing it inside so you could while you're in the vehicle you can rearm now and I'm wondering if you can heal and do other things so we'll see how that's coming along but what I noticed here when I was editing I said oh I was jumping on a vehicle and oh geez I could re rearm or I could change classes which is kind of nice right so anywho, yep. Okay, so this is interesting here. We um, we are a militia now. So each faction has some new roles, right? What is this stuff too? What is this? What, 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 what's this? What's this orange line stuff? What game mode is this? What is going on here? Game mode is called Destruction. So there's a new game mode called Destruction. Hmm. Fool's Road Destruction. Okay. So this is pretty cool. I, new game mode, interesting. So I don't even know what to do. Let's let's look at what the game mode says that we're supposed to do, right? Uh, where where is where is it, bro? Team selection, game mode. Destruction is an objective-based mode that involves destroying weapons caches. The attacking team needs to destroy two objectives for each phase to advance to the next one. Completing a phase gives two additional tickets and time to the attackers. Attackers must destroy all objectives. Defenders must run the attackers out of tickets. So it's like... Destruction. Is this like... Oh, what was that called? Not insurgency, but cache. You have to destroy two objectives. It sounds like destroying weapons caches. Yes. I, I'm not quite sure what we're doing here though I mean what what is this are those the caches I think that is the cache right so let me starts here what's connecting these two what's connecting I'm not quite sure I understand but so it looks like they've done away with the scout roll and it's called a sapper now he has TNT and anti-tank mines. 
Here you'll notice on the bottom of the screen there's a new interface or new tips that are provided to the user that tell you what to do with certain things. So when you dig, pull out a shovel, it'll tell you how to build and unbuild things. You pull out a bandage, it'll tell you how to bandage and, you know, bandage yourself or bandage others. Now, you're going to see spacebar because that's I've rekeyed my uh, I've rekeyed my game controls. So for each person, it's going to show you what the actions are for you based on your rekeying, which is pretty cool. At the same token, it's kind of annoying, I'm going to say, okay? Keep, keep, there's got to be, a, there better be a setting for this somewhere where we can turn this off because I know how to do this stuff. I don't need these tips. So it's a UI change again. It's a very, very minor UI change. Not sure it's really needed. Except for new players. I'll be dropping a rally uh, soon. Let me look. What the frick? So what even is this game mode again? It's like insurgency? Yeah, you, they're trying to get our caches, but I didn't. I haven't even seen a fucking cache yet. I'm brand new to V13 as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing caches are the shield markers. Yeah, I think that's right. I think it's the same as the uh, game mode in Project Reality. They really fucked up the uh, driving. Holy fuck, this thing can't even go through grass. I mean, literally, I'm going like four miles an hour through grass. Yeah, it was. It's nerfed in eight levels, but this is a lot worse. They want you to use rope. Yeah, but a little truck like this should be able to fling through these forests like this. Yeah, especially for Malaya, for uh, irregulars, they need a mobility. Another thing I forgot to comment on during my gameplay was the ability to provide new marks on the map. You'll see some red dots with lines. That shows enemy movements. You can do the same thing with green dots with the lines for friendly troop movements. So if you're trying to plan out strategies or stuff like that, you can now put these kind of move markers or you could show, you know, an enemy vehicle in which direction it's heading. Kind of nice. Again, just a small little tweak, a little update, nothing. It's not major. It's just a little ability to put something on the map, right? The class doesn't have an optic anymore. Oh, what did you spot? Didn't you stop? Oh, shit. Thanks, medic. We're way too close to. Now, here you'll see something. I'm not sure whether it's a feature or it's a bug or something else i'm not quite sure in v13 but you'll see that these spawn points pop up they look like habs i saw them earlier i looked at them i don't see a radio associated with each one and then you'll notice in the video that they disappear so i i think it was a glitch of some sort but it looks like there's enemy habs or not enemy but friendly habs um that you can spawn at and then it just disappears. It's really, really strange. Not sure what was going on here, but again, it's an alpha game. It's an early release of version 13, so they say it's going to be full of bugs. You'll notice the little comment, um, expect bugs, right? I have to get in, Medic. Did they, cha Did they change the number of people that could ride in a vehicle now, or what? No, no, I'm just bugs. Just... No, no, climb on top and lay down. Somebody told me climb on top, lay down, and look backwards. Yeah, Somebody told me it works. Yeah. It's a good test. Yeah, he's already in, he's already Approved. So look, make sure you look backwards, though. That's what the guy told me that you could do to keep you on. I want to test, so don't move. Just look backwards, whoever's on top. Okay, so this is driving normal. Yeah, my opinion went to my entire listing back down. Well, it looks weird. Yeah, AA is prepared. Okay. So we're going to resupply, then we're going to go to OP Fortress, set up a hab. Um, FOB on my explosion marker. 8-5. Changed that. It went down. Killed it. Wow, 
about one one charge of C4 to cut a fob. Nice. The fob radio or the hab? Which part? The radio. Gotcha, gotcha. So one C4 takes it down. Good to know. Where the hell's the repair? It's uh. It's his generator right here. The generators are. Really gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Back to so they changed from the old repair thing to a generator now, huh? It could just be for main base, I think. I'm repairing right now, so I'm not that worried. Uh, yeah, okay. Everyone, make sure you grab ammo, resupply. Yep, yep. We got the vehicle loaded up. Check out all these new resupply options. Holy shit! We gotta push over to save that cash, guys. We gotta fucking abandon this position. And did they lose? No, they won. No, they didn't. No, they won. They got the last one. We did it. We beat them. There's no hab over here. I think I'm gonna spawn here and then just push on foot. It's a pretty small map, actually. Oh, look at the horrible graphics. <laughs> on the roof, really? So my first question is, how the frick did they get up here? <laughs> Rearm. Industrial roof. Lone guy crouching. Two five one. Yeah, about there. You can see those tracers over there. Jesus. Oh my god, my ears. See how far that is. Sure, are you about spawn or what? Spawn main. Are so how do we get down from here? For you. Backwards and uh, spam space. Backwards is what? Northeast? Oh, uh, walk backwards. Anywhere? Yeah, uh, balcony. Uh, probably the balcony, but I'm not sure where, the, where those are. Here's one. How the hell did you guys get up here? Glitching. Uh, we're losing the, the fob, guys. We've got some people below us, I think. Push up to SL. You can you can res him, but I'll push up to him. This is terrible. I don't have any bitches. I'm trying to let you pass, dude. What the fuck does that skull car? He's got like rockets on top of his skull car now. Contact straight ahead, so. I got one more. 
On the right side of the road. On the right side of the road. Anything out? So I'm going to talk over the audio that was here because one of the things I realized, some of the classes are better at building and unbuilding emplacements. I can't remember what class I am here. I'd have to watch the video back, but oh, I was lat. That's correct. And it seems like the radio takes a long time to build and unbuild now. And I think there's like the combat engineer and there's other roles that are specifically designed for building and unbuilding better. So it's one of the changes, I believe, and we'll have to figure out which ones are good at building and which ones aren't good at building. So, okay. So just wanted to comment on this radio dig that I found. Check out the tires. Teacher's gonna stop that. Goddamn. Yeah, we should be coming in behind them a full squad. Shooting at front wheel's totally missing. I'm hitting in the ass. Nice. Was there any ammo left in my pack or not? I didn't look. Uh, enemy. Behind us, behind us. Dude, holy shit, it's gun shoots fast. That's their logi, that's their logi. If you hear the logi, that's their logi. Shoot their tires. Oh. Ah! I think so. Yeah, their logi is probably going up. Take that radio up, please. Guys, no, so we have to find the radio. Find it. Habs make sounds now, holy shit. Rallies, I mean. Good job, guys. Good job. Hey, Good I guys. did hit that guy in the head. Okay, so at the end of the day, what's my first impression? My first impression of V13 is it's meh. Meh. It's, it's, we've been waiting a long time. They've bought UI updates. They've kind of, I don't want to say reskin, but they've kind of reskinned things. They, some classes that they've added a little bit to. They changed UI. They've reskinned some things. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to, the, the new scout car with the missiles, I'm, I'm expecting to see a few more of those things, but we've been waiting a long time as a community. Um, Squad is, it's a wonderful game, so don't get me wrong. It's a great game. It's the speed of development, the progress is slow. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not the fastest development progress that I've ever seen. It's not even close to, it's it's marginally, I don't know, it's marginal. It's, it's on the verge of, you know, not, uh, how do I phrase it? 
it needs more. It needs more. It, it need they need to do better. And I, I don't know if it's uh, resources. I don't know if it's confusion. I don't know if it's lack of focus. I'm not sure what the issues are. Again, the game's a fun game. The, all of the new features will. I, I think it's going to make gameplay better. Uh, I'm not going to say that these are bad things. These are good things. It's just not enough good things, right? We, we're, we're not getting enough things. Um, destructible environments. I, I don't know if we're ever going to get there after looking at this. It, it's things like destructible environments. How, how can I ever envision that happen with this slow rate of progress, right? Um, and I'm not saying that they promised it, but it's something that squad needs. Um, if I drive a vehicle through a field, it should mash down the wheat or you, you know what I mean? If I run into a wooden fence, the fence should collapse and crack. And these are Battlefield 5 kind of things that, that this game needs um, to be, you know, to be a, a truly great game. And, and it just seems like it's like pulling teeth. It's slow. It's, eh, you know what I mean? And, and now they're working on UI updates and stuff. I would rather have the core engine work done versus telling me, oh, left mouse button to do this or right mouse button to do That's not necessary. Um, maybe it is for newer players. Uh, I, I still don't think so because you can go to the controls and check your key bindings anytime you want. It's free, right? It's not like you're charged $5 to go look at your key bindings. So anyway, um, I love Squad. I, I think it's a great game. I, everybody that's watching this video, come join me. Come play. Uh, come play with us. Come play with me. And Steam friend me, I, there's very very few people I don't steam friend if you have racist names or stuff like that I won't friend you but other than that we're good to go um, and let's have fun together let's let's build a, a community right with that said um, I'm happy we're getting the update I'm happy we're making progress I want to see a lot more of it that's what I'm really I don't want to say disappointed in but it, it is disappointing so I want to see more progress I want to see more progress more rapidly otherwise I think what's gonna happen is there's so much pressure they're going to come out of alpha, quote unquote, and they're going to say, oh, now we're officially released 1.0. And at that point, you know, it's still going to be, quote unquote, incomplete to me. Um, the game has so much potential. It's such a great community. Um, when you get these new waves of new players like PAX, the PAX conference that just happened, um, you get waves of new players. It's frustrating for the veterans because gameplay turns to shit. But, um, you know, you got you to gotta digest it. You got to train and you got to educate. You, it's one of the reasons I'm writing a book right now on squad. I've taken a, about a week, week and a half break off it. And seeing this, it's going to make me, okay, now I can readapt for version 13 because I kind of knew it was going to be coming soon. So I'll have to rewrite sections of the book or, you know, tweak them. But um, it's interesting what they've done. I'm going to play some, make sure I understand the new metas and, and how to best do things. But yeah, it's exciting. It's... Um, it's disappointing though too <laughs> so anyway that's my take on it i'm obviously uh, one person one fish in a big ocean so i hope you guys enjoy as always when you're out there playing make sure you're having fun you play fair and hashtag game friendly we'll see you guys later